additional note before I begin to talk about the issue at hand. First link in the description box below, follow Legio Gloria on Instagram, we have some absolutely aesthetic releases incoming tomorrow. You can also sign up on the newsletter on the legiogloria.com page. So do it immediately, if you don't check it out you will be cursed with forever slow punches. It's not my rules but these are the rules, so you have to do it. Links in the description box below. Now on to the video. Hello lads, today I want to elaborate a bit on strength training and striking. Now, the question you see in the title of the video said yes and no. It depends a bit on how you train. So in order to understand why strength training might actually reduce power in your punches, you need to look at what a good strike is and what a bad strike is. So when you do a bench press and if you grind the movement, boom and grind. If you translate that into a punch, grind, that's a bad punch. A good punch, however, is going from point A, here, your god, to point B, hopefully your opponent, as fast as possible. Now, if you tense from point A to point B, if you tense here, if you push, if you use muscle force here, you will reduce. However, if you learn to relax, if you don't push, but if you snap as fast as possible, that's a hard punch. So instead of thinking, if you are used to doing a lot of bench press, military press, etc., instead of thinking that you should push the punch, think that you should snap the punch. So what I'm doing right now, you can't see my legs, but I am, I have a spring in my step, otherwise I'm relaxed here. I'm not up here. If I'm up here tensing, I can't explode. You need to be relaxed, fluid, in order to explode. So what I want to do, instead of push my arm, I want to snap it. So here, move around, relax, relax, boom, spring on my step. So, the difference between a gym exercise, where you grind, a punch, you snap snap and back so a punch of course a good punch you explode with your entire body basically explode relax so you don't tense here because if you tense you reduce the speed of the movement relax 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 explode relax and tense you need to tense at the end of the movement as well because otherwise you might hurt your um, your hand and also if you do train a lot with wraps and boxing gloves, make sure to still aim with these two knuckles and make sure to tense at the end of the movement. Now you ask how to get around this because you of course you do want a good bench press but you also want to be able to have um, a good punch. So what you want to do is either at the end of your heavy sessions you reduce the weight quite a bit and just try to explode as much as possible. You can, use, you can use maybe just the, the bar and do either military presses as fast as possible or bench presses as fast as possible. That way you will train to be explosive, so you're not only grinding. And same thing if you want to get as strong as possible in the bench, for example, you can also try to explode. Then of course, if you are near your max, it's hard to explode through the entire movement, but it's a good mindset at least. Second thing you can do is to just train at a heavy bag. If you are big, bulky, you have done a lot of bench presses, just go to heavy bag, focus on explode, relax, tense. Bam, 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 bam. Doing it as fast as possible and don't have an ego. You don't need to punch. You don't need to feel like you're moving the bag. You're supposed to snap the bag. And then eventually when you've gotten a good technique, it will be hard. So then you ask, is it bad then to train in the gym if you want to be a good boxer or a good fighter? No, absolutely not. It's good because if you have a lot of power in your body, you can generate a momentum. So you can look at a little clip from when I was a bloat max polar bear. You can look at this clip. Boom. So 
you see in my rotation I get a lot of power just because I have so much force I have so much and I have so much power I have so much force so much strength so much explosiveness to twist my body if I had been 20 kilos lighter I wouldn't have as much force in my rotation same thing when I punch if I manage to get my entire body behind the punch it's a lot more power than just the arm so if you have put on a lot of mass don't feel like it's a wasted effort in regards to becoming a good um, a good striker because you will have more gunpowder so to speak so it's not necessarily about having a big biceps but if you have a lot of muscles overall and you can use that explosiveness to get that hip rotation then of course also a second point when we're talking about strength training and um, using force in, in various predicaments if you look at an MMA fight or a boxing match there are, all, there are a lot of things you won't see you will never see someone grabbing someone else's jacket because there aren't any jackets uh, there you won't you probably won't see someone trying to grab a guy from here put him there but if you're a bouncer maybe you need to do exactly that getting a rowdy person from point A to point B then of course you have a lot of use for various rowing exercises etc and I've talked about judo before that judo can be absolutely brilliant in a street predicament because you have a hard pavement which is something completely different from a nice somewhat soft um, MMA canvas uh, you have clothing you can grab etc so a lot of things you don't see in MMA can actually work if you have a job in security or just need to calm down a situation so keep that in mind as well being big and bulky it has many benefits um, the only thing if you strike you need to learn how to relax as well so anyway to recap teach your body how to relax 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 and explode do not translate a bench press into a punch because it's two completely different things so if you drop your ego if you have a strong bench if you're a strong bulky guy drop your ego find a good rhythm to walk in to move in spring in your step backwards forwards to the side up 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 explode so you don't need to prove to anyone how strong you are because it's two completely different things so try to relax try to explode visualize this movement explode relax and tense boom something like that so anyway i hope that was somewhat informative thank you for watching exec so boom